It's one thirty. Yeah. It's one thirty. Yes, you need to be in. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Never fails. The minute I unmute myself, then he comes out and asks me a question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys can get your warm-up pages out and then also your um, terminology hunt page. I would like that ready to go too. So have both of those up and ready. We'll wait till one thirty two and then we'll start the warm up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start the warm up. So have it ready and then after you get done today just make sure there's caps and ends and complete sentences and then turn it in so here we go three two one start two minutes Got about a minute. This was in your notes, so if you look back, you should be able to find it if you so choose. Remember, the answer doesn't have to be correct for you to get points, just that there's caps and ends and complete sentences. And then, Miss Gray, if you could be my MC and just let me know if anyone enters or concerns in the chat that kind of thing sure thank you kaden hill just joined oh thank you yep twenty seconds try to finish up Okay, time is up. So turn those warm ups in so that you can get points for those. Um, the other couple things that we turned in the last few days are the guided notes. So that we need to turn in. And then there was a um, five question sheet in Google Classroom over the, um, the PowerPoint that I went over with you. So make sure you also complete that and then today we did um well it was already due but it was the terminology hunt so i'm going to be going over that so i kind of wanted you guys to have it so that you could um you know go over the answers with me
So just to kind of uh, look ahead a little bit, uh, today you're going to be doing another demo page on pineapple upside down cake. So um, I'll give you time to do that. And then Monday, I'm going to hand out a review sheet for the assessment that will be Wednesday. So just know that that's up and coming, some things you need to look look at. If you took notes throughout this, um, you'll show up to take the test. And I need you to uncamera so I can make sure that um, you are the one sitting at your seat taking the test. And uh, I'm going to give you the class period to take it. So if you finish early, you'll be able to go. And if you need all the class time, then you'll have that. Okay. If you have other arrangements for whatever reason, know that those will be in place at that time. So is there any questions for the good of what's coming, what we're doing today, and then um, anything that got turned in? Okay. Thanks, Bailey. You can just listen to me. I mean, I are you talking about the test? That's probably what you're talking about. Um, I probably just need to verify that it's you. So I pretty much have an idea of what you sound like. Okay, and then Gerilyn, um, yeah, test next week, Wednesday, review sheet Monday. And then um, I will be giving the test right here where I need you to uncamera so that I can watch you testing. And then um, you can use any notes that I've given you for the test, that's perfectly fine. I can't really do much about that, but it's gonna be time, so you'll have the class period to complete. Oh, that was something that I did, Brayden, <laughs> and I have corrected that problem, so don't worry about that. That was something that I clicked that uh, I shouldn't have, so. Problem solved. All right, let's see, okay. All right, so what I would like to do is for you guys to take your terminology sheet out and let's go through it. I'm going to pull up mine and you're going to give me the answers and I'm going to fill them in as we go. Um, what else am I going to tell you? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that document and then you guys are going to help me fill it out. Oh, I know I was going to ask you, what was today's warm-up question? That's what I was going to ask. What was uh, the hot temperature of an oven? You guys remember? Anybody can answer that for me? No? Yes? Nobody? Seriously? What is considered a hot temperature of, the, of an oven? 400 to 450 degrees. Okay, so in our notes, and I got those right in front of me, I said that a hot oven is, did you say 400 to 425? 450? Oh, 450 is very hot. So it's only between 400 and 425. But you're close, but it's okay. You know, on your warm up, as long as you wrote the answer in a complete sentence, you're good. Thanks, Sapphire. Okay, so we are going to do our terminology hunt, and the directions were that you were to highlight the term uh, as you put it in there. So I need you to unmic and tell me the answer to number one. To beat a food lightly and rapidly in order to incorporate air into the mixture and to increase its volume. What is the answer? Whip. Thank you. Okay, number two, to moisten food during cooking with pan drippings or a sauce in order to add flavor and prevent drying? Baste. Thank you. Oh, shoot. I thought that would stay on, but it didn't. Okay. Uh, to cool a food... To cool a food to below room temperature in the refrigerator, freezer, or over ice. Chill. Did you just tell me to chill? No. No. That's just so kidding. I know you didn't. I was just trying to be funny. You guys don't talk enough and it makes me crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right. To cut food, often fresh herbs, dried fruits with kitchen shears into very small uniform pieces using short, quick strokes. Snip. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Uh, to cut into uniform pieces, usually a half inch on all sides. Anyone get that one? Starts with a C. Cube? Cube. Okay. To split foods in the middle without completely separating the halves and then spreading the halves to resemble a butterfly. If you didn't get this one, I don't know how much easier I could have made it. Butterfly. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Number. The pastry blender. Anyone? Um, cut we did this. Yes, we did that last year, and we made pie crust. Okay, uh, number eight. To partially cook fruit, vegetables, or nuts in boiling water or steam. Blanche. Blanche. Whoops. There we go. Okay, moving up. To the tooth, a term to indicate pasta is cooked just enough to keep a firm texture. Al dente. Yes. Okay. Uh, what was that? Okay. A liquid in which food is allowed to stand in order to flavor or tenderize it. Marinate refers to the process. Do not use a metal container. Do not marinate meat, poultry, or fish at room temperature for more than 30 minutes. Marinade. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, a measure equal to 1 16th teaspoon. Mince. Uh, it starts with a D. A dash. A dash, thank you. Okay, now uh, chop food into tiny irregular pieces. Mints. Mints, yeah. Okay, to heat an oven or utensil to a temperature you before using it. Like before I use the oven, I have to do what? Preheat Pre it. Yeah. Okay, number 14, to cut into uniform pieces, usually one eighth to one fourth inch on all sides. They do this, they use these things at the casino sometimes. Dice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, to cook a food in the vapor given off by boiling water. Steam. Yep. Okay, move up. Okay, to cook food in liquid for a long time until tender, usually in a covered pot, also the name of the mixture prepared this way. Stew. Bailey's jacket said stew. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Oopsie, what did I just do? Okay, let me try that again. There we go. Okay, number 17, to work dough with the heel of your hand in a, in a pressing and folding motion until it becomes smooth and elastic. Any need. Need, yes. Okay, to cut off the skin or outer covering of a fruit or vegetable using a knife or vegetable peeler. Pear. Thank you. Um, to avoid visual appeal, to, sorry, to add visual appeal to a finished dish. Garnish. Yep. Number 20. To cut narrow grooves or slits partway through the outer surface of a food to tenderize it or to form a decorative pattern. Score. 
score. Awesome. Whoops. Okay, uh, 21. They cut food into thin match like Julian. Yep. I spelled that wrong. Okay. To evenly cover food with crumbs, flour, or batter. Coat. To brown a, few, a food, usually meat quickly on all sides using high heat to seal in the juices. Sear. Yep. To gently swirl one food into another, usually done with light and dark batter for cakes or cookies. Marble. And the last one, to cook a food in liquid that is kept just below the boiling point, a few bubbles will form slowly and burst just before reaching the surface. Simmer. Excellent. Okay. So hopefully you got all those answers. Looks like um, Sapphire got them all. <laughs> so hopefully you did too. And then make sure I get that turned in ASAP. Okay. If you haven't got a chance to do it. Okay. So I have an assignment I need to give. And then I'm going to talk to you about the demo page. So just kind of Bear with me as I go to it and then talk about it. And then if you have questions, please put it in the chat or you can unmic and let me know. Okay. Where's your other demo? Hold on. I'm going to move this over. There we go. Okay. So your next assignment, and I have this one due, I think, October. So it gives you a little bit of time because I don't want to overburden you with the two things to do in one day even though that's kind of how it is, but okay. So this is your uh, last assignment in this unit per se because of the demo page. But um, what I'm asking you to do is to find two narrative, two action and two standard types of recipe and just link me the site. So you can just put down here under the narrative, you can just put the two links you found it, same with action, same with standard. Okay, and if you don't remember what those differences are, look back in your notes. You will also turn one type of recipe into the other. So let's say I found an action recipe and I'm going to turn it into a narrative. Or I found a narrative and I'm going to turn it into a standard. So whichever one you decide that you're going to change into the other, then maybe just put a note down here that, you know, I'm going to turn this standard into the narrative and um, put it down there, okay? So just indicate which one you're gonna do so I know. Okay, um, also in the recipes that you give me, I want you to highlight some of the uh, cooking terms. So like if the recipe called for bake, I would like it highlighted. If it said cut, blend, chopped, anything, fold, I would like it highlighted in yellow or some type of highlight highlighting. Okay. Um, I would also encourage you to look up recipes that you're interested in cooking from, you know, like, let's say we get back at school and you're like, Hey, I remember this recipe we did when we were talking about the different types of uh, recipes and how they're put together. I really would like to make that. And then we can always go back and look that up and uh, figure that out. Also, I'd like you to focus on cost effectiveness. So try not to find things that got like, and I'm sure you won't, but you know, like 20 different items that may or may not be in a kitchen that we might have to go out and buy. So just kind of be thinking about that as well. Any questions about this? Because now is the time if you don't understand and you need more clarification. I said everything perfectly. Nothing's 
anything's in the chat, so we're all good with this. No, I don't see anything in the chat. Okay. Sorry, I keep correcting my bad grammar. <laughs> okay, so um, let me know if you do have questions because that's what I'm here for. And now I want to talk about the demo. Okay, so let's talk about the demo. So I did pineapple upside down cake. Unfortunately, I only have two videos, which is better than the last time, I guess. But this is the video, it's 10 minutes. And then I forgot I was supposed to do a, when it got done. And so I just did a one really quick with my phone. So it's like maybe 30 seconds, I don't even know. But it's when the pineapple upside down cake is finished. And uh, so you get to see the finished product. Here's your demo page. And then I also put the example. Cause some of you, um, when you did the last one, you didn't either, you didn't give me the amounts of the ingredients um, or you kind of um, did them in paragraph form. It needs to be in a list and all the amounts need to be there, okay? And then the directions need to be like directions. Like I was telling my nutrition class, you know, if I was gonna tell someone to go to the mall from um, Penfield, I would have to give specific turns and roads and, you know, tell them specifically how to get to the mall. I can't just say, you know, you drive about 10 miles and there's the mall. Okay. So you got to be specific when you're writing directions to me. You know, am I going to use a spot saucepan? Do I bring it to a boil? Do I use a spatula? Do I pull it off the heat? You know, what am I supposed to do to make this successful if for some reason I lost the recipe and I had to go off of your paper? So you got to be very specific when you give directions so that I could just easily follow the steps and make, in this case, because this is the example, is cream puffs. Okay. So um, this is just an example to help you fill out the lab sheet or the demo sheet. So. I am taking questions. I've talked to you about the demo page and about the three types of recipes that you need to um, find and then um, switch one. Questions? You can put them in the chat too if you don't wanna speak outwardly, you know, or, you know, try to put in the, um, the chat a question you may have. So. I am going to uh, ask somebody to recap for me the three types of recipe assignment. So um, let's see here. Oh, goodness. Jenna, what do you do on the recipe assignment? Sorry, you give me it cut out. What did you say? Can you give me the how to? for that assignment I gave about the recipes, the three different types? Yeah. <laughs> um, you have to just like change it. Sorry, it's like, everything's like buffering, cutting out. That's okay. Well, you have to find narrative to narrative action standard recipes and like put the link in everything for that and then you have to turn one type one of the recipes into another type of recipe and you have to list all the cooking terms and highlight them and um that sounds good yeah. good job <laughs> excellent okay so anybody, if I mean, I wanted to give you time to work. So this would be like me in class saying, okay, now you're going to do this. And um, I'm going to be here. I'm going to hang out until 1.30. So you can stay here. That way you have questions. I'm right here. Or you can go and work on it and then come back with questions. But let's do, I would like to check back in. Like if you do leave. I'd like you to check back in at let's say two two twenty five. Is that right? Two twenty five. Yeah, two twenty five, and let's just meet back 
And that way we can check um, if there's any questions or as you were progressing through something happened or you figured out you do have a question. So if you're going to go, you can, but be back at 225. And if you're going to stay, then you can hang out here and I'm just going to sit here and work on some stuff and you can just unmute if you have a question. Sound good? If, you, if it sounds good, give me a one in the chat so I know that you're alive and well and you hear me. Because you guys are so quiet and it drives me crazy. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, Nazaya, I if you do leave, I'd like you to come back so that you and I could have a talk just super quick at the very, very, very end. But. Okay, so we're good. 225, be back here. Or hang out with me and if you have questions, I'm here to answer them. I actually have a question. Yep, Geraldine, go ahead. Um, for the first one, for the like different uh, recipes, when it right. says two out of the three ones, does it mean just two in general out of those three different recipes or two of each? Yeah, two of each. Two standard, okay. two uh, action, and two narrative. And so we have to do all of those steps for six recipes? All of what steps? Uh, the like steps after that, like um list the ingredients highlight everything change them into a different uh recipe yes okay yep all right thank you Ms. zip can i have a question yep go ahead um can i stay after class when it's over so i can talk to you i would love to talk to you Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome.
Hello. How's it going? It's 227. Anybody have any questions, concerns that you want to talk about really quick? Um, if you're all set, you can go because Sapphire wanted to talk to me and I want to talk to Nazaya. So if you're all good, you can go. But if you have questions or concerns, you can stick around. Have okay. a good day, Rebecca. Thanks, Jenna. We'll see you next time. See you. Yep. All right. Sapphire, did you get my email I just sent you? I didn't look at it, but I can look okay. right now. Okay. I just told you what you were missing, like the cream puff demonstration. Yeah, I didn't know we had to do both of them, so that's why I only did one. Okay. So do that and then turn it into me and let me know. Okay. And is there any other way that I could possibly get my grade up besides that? I think, what's the other thing? You didn't turn in your equivalency yeah. measurement. I got oh. a zero for that. Yeah. And I just checked. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay. And then get that into me and your grade will come up. Is it only going to be half credit, though? I have long given up on that, so no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um thank you because you're welcome because i've been having like work getting piled on me a lot lately and it's like really stressful i and hear you sister online online school is like worse than being in school i don't like you it. think it you think it's because usually in the classroom they give you time to work on stuff and then you like kind of get it partially done or what yeah and then the teacher's like there to help guide and like you know gotcha. be there okay. to help uh-huh Okay, well, you know I'm here for you, so you can always count on me. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Oh, wait, for, like, the seminar stuff, is that, like, for help, too? So, like, office hours? I don't have any seminar office hours, but you can always come in on any of my office hours. Oh, okay. Well, I was just wondering what, like, the seminar was for. Yeah, I thought that we were going to do more with that, but we haven't yet, so I'm not okay. sure. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Later. Okay. Nazaya, where have you been? Now I've been having a lot of family issues lately. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Oh. Yeah. Yes, okay. So are you coming back to stay or? Yeah, now I am. Okay. I was so worried about you and I called, I emailed, I called and I got the wrong number. <laughs> so, okay. So. Um, let me know what I can help you with because I know you're kind of far behind. Um, so just like maybe pick something once a week to do that's in the past, but always stay current with us right now. Okay. Okay. So just let me know how that works for you. And then we might be able to alter some things if you're really bogged down and having difficulty. Okay. All right. All and right. you know how to do the warm ups. That's no different than before, really. And I'm trying to think whatever else. Um, did you finish your uh, terminology today, your hunt? Yeah. Okay, so that's done for sure. Okay. So we can get a couple things in the gray book. The demo page, just do like what you used to do with those as well. Okay. All right, but watch the video, and I linked it, so you should be okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, sweetie. I'm so glad you're back, and I'm sorry you've had some difficult times. Yeah. We'll just, uh, I'm always here if you need a listening ear, and we'll just see you next time. Okay, bye. Right. Bye, Naziah. Okay, I'm good to go.